Dynamite channel, welcome. Right, I'm sort of in between jobs today, so I thought before I start a new video that's gonna take me days of hard work to finish, uh, it's an opportunity to have a quick go at practicing some setting again. So I'm gonna make a short video and show you my progress on practicing these cut down style settings. So looking down there, not finished, I've just split the claws basically. The stones are being held in position. Some of my stones are scooting off to the side, so I need to be, I need to notice that and be aware of it so it doesn't happen again. It's happening quite a lot on my settings. From the setting, I'm practicing cutting them down the middle. Certainly improved at it. This is like the third one I've done now. So getting, getting neater. So this is my homemade splitter. Broken bit of drill, sharpened. That kind of angle's working for me. I don't know what a more experienced setter may recommend, something different, but this is what I'm doing. Uh, I just keep it sharp with this Arkansas stone, I think they're called, I can't remember now. And then also I've got this, this is 3000 grit, just something I bought online. That's been helpful as well. So I just put a bit of oil on those stones and just, just by hand, just put that on and keep it sharp. So I just wanna emphasize a point. This is just what I'm doing. I'm learning how to do this. So I'm not a highly experienced setter. So don't take what I'm doing as like the best way to do it. There's likely a much better way to do than what I'm doing, but I'm, I enjoy figuring stuff out and experimenting. So this is just what, this video is just about me sharing what I've come up with. So anyway, a little stick. I wipe that on a bit of beeswax. I've got stuck next to my bench. That allows me to pick up a stone, he says. Pick up a stone. I've got my ring in this setting ball. And I can push that in, have a look around it, make sure it's all flat and straight. I'll do three and then set, do a little bit of setting. So I place these in just by eye and from this dist distance, I'll get them kind of flat. And then, then I, when I've got three in, I use my 10 times loop and get them really, really straight the best I can before I actually push any claws over. So you go, there's three in there now. I'll have a closer look and then adjust them. Adjust them if I need to, which I always do. There's a bit of fluff on that as well. It's no good. Got stones in there now. I've um, been using these, a bit helpful. Set to one and a half times magnification. I've got another broken drill bit, a little bit sharp on the end. And just push the stones in and uh, make sure they're nice and flat. So my splitter is in this pin vise. I put leather on the end because it makes it more comfortable to push down on. But yes, I know I should buy a proper handle, put in something. But I kind of, I kind of got used to just using this now, so I'm continuing with it. Okay, so double check the sharp. Get a little oil on there. And then carefully, what I what I've been doing is just marking halfway and just gently pushing down on it, just splitting it a little bit. I'm more concerned about getting that split right down the middle more than actually splitting the claws open. And I'll just sort of gently do it on all of them first. And then when I've done, completed all the claws I need to do for the amount of stones I put in, then I'll go back and open them up a little bit more. How difficult with these setting videos is actually being able to show you up close with this camera. Uh, so yeah, if you can tell, split them down the middle. And these new batch of stones are, do seem to be smaller than what I was using. They drop right down. So anyway, there it is. I just did a couple to show you my, uh, my methods. So I made a exclusive video about this for the official patrons recently. I was doing the job for the first time in platinum. I made a 10 stone half eternity ring for my wife. So it's platinum and diamond, basically this style setting, but on top and then the just normal shank on the back. Uh, so I did the job for the first time in platinum and I found just naturally I did a much better job. Platinum was a much nicer metal to work with. Silver is a bit too delicate for splitting these delicate claws. You've got to be really delicate and dexterous with your fingers and the pressure and the angles and stuff. It's a bit too easy to sort of slip and cut off a little claw or just gouge it out the side. When it happened to me a few times, first of all, I just thought it was my inexperience, but the metal is not actually 
very user friendly <laughs> for doing this job. So if you can do a good job in silver, uh, it's likely you'll, you'll actually find it easier and do a really good job in platinum or I suspect gold as well. So anyway, yeah, if you're doing like I'm doing, uh, actually practicing setting, like I had some of these rings cast and then I've got a bunch of CZs now so I can just practice away and it doesn't really matter if I balls one up, just keep going until I can do a whole ring nice and neatly, all the stones nice and flat or even, not going out the side like that's what's happening with this one. Uh, yeah, if I can do that, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's all good practice, isn't it? So yeah, I recommend just try it. Turn your computer off, <laughs> put your phone down, just try it. Work on tools to experiment with angles of little blades and stuff and just find what works for you. And that's it, best way to learn, I reckon.